Hello and welcome to the Steady Travel News video. I'm Matthew Knott. And I'm Jenny Fennelly bringing you the latest news stories. So the headlines this week, uh, UK sector valued at £20 billion. French universities hesitant over fees for non-EU students. Uh, FNU Academy launches online German courses. And much more. So we start with the UK and a shout out for Study Travel Magazine Stats. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, the UK's international education industry generated £19.9 billion in revenue in 2016, a 26% increase compared with 2010, according to figures released by the Department for Education, which utilised Study Travel Magazine's global market report on the ELT sector. Universities generated £13.4 billion of export earning based on tuition fee and living expenses. The ELT sector was worth £1.5 billion, according to figures adjusted to avoid double counting of public sector students, the department said. Uh, the report also attributed £900 million to the independent secondary schools and £300 million to further education colleges. There were also contributions from transnational education and education-related products. Damien Hines, Education Secretary, said the figures underlined the importance of the international education sector to the economy. He also confirmed that a growth strategy for the industry would be released later this year. Very good. Um, across the channel now, where universities in France have expressed caution over tuition fees being introduced for non-EU students this year as part of a Welcome to France strategy to attract more international students. The Conference of Presidents of Universities in France has called for a moratorium on the new policy so that an industry consultation on the impact of the introduction of fees can take place. A number of institutions have reportedly pledged to do what they can to avoid fees. Um, the fees for non-EU students will increase from a nominal uh, amount to €2,770 per year for undergraduate and €3,770 for postgraduate programmes. Other parts of the strategy include more English programmes and simpler student visa applications. Germany Next, where FNU Academy of Languages has unveiled a new suite of online German programmes available across a range of language levels and also offered as bespoke individual and group courses. Um, Eleanor Dillman at FNU said that the online programmes and virtual classroom environment were developed using the same interactive technology that universities in the FNU group utilise to create online degree programmes. And now for a roundup of some of the other stories this week. The Boston Language Institute, a US-based provider of English language teacher training and other language programmes, has closed its doors abruptly, reportedly due to the lifting of a bankruptcy protection and the seizure of funds by its lender. Um, legislation has been passed that will allow providers in England to charge up to uh, £11,000 per year for accelerated two-year degree programmes uh, for UK and EU students. The Department for Education said this would provide more choice and a saving across the whole cost of a degree. Gizma Business School in Germany has moved its Berlin campus to a new city centre location, which will help the institution to expand its international programmes, it said. Um, English language company in Australia has announced three new pathway partners for higher and vocational education, TAFE New South Wales, Kembell College of Hospitality and Kirana Colleges. International House World Organisation has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the Language Cert English Examination, which it said would provide benefits including quicker turnaround times for schools. Um, staying with exams, ETS has announced that a redesigned TOEIC bridge test for basic to intermediate English learners will be launched later this year. And finally, the government in India has pledged funding for 20 institutions to develop what it described as state-of-the-art hostels as part of a study in India campaign to attract more students. More on all of those st uh, stories on our website, of course, as well as photos from conferences held by English UK, White House Guardianships and Academics and a Royal School opening. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week. Goodbye. Goodbye.